Hey guys, the project today is I'm going to be converting some master blend powder form to some liquid concentrate. The goal here is to make uh, 25 gallons of pre-mixed concentrate in a 17 ounce bottle. I'm just going to start here by uh, using my RO system and just uh, filling up my kettle. I'm just going to put some water in here and warm it up because it makes uh, dissolving the powder much easier. So here we go. Once the kettle is filled up with enough water, I just put it on the stove for a bit, just to get warm, not too hot. Alright, I'm going to make a couple labels for the uh, bottles. So, first one will be for the calcium nitrate. And I've already done the math on this, so it's basically 20 milliliters of the concentrate to one gallon of water. All right, the next label we're going to be making is for the master blend and the Epsom salt. So let's do it. And again, I done the math on this and I'll explain it in detail coming up. But again, it's 20 milliliters of the concentrate to uh, one gallon of uh, water. Let's get this label on the bottle so we can move on. All right, here I got the tea kettle and I'm just filling up the uh, each of the bottles with warm water. You can't see the tea kettle, but it is there. And again, the warm water just makes it much easier for the powder to break down. So that's why I'm using it. And here I'm just going to label the caps. I'll put M and E on there for master blend and Epsom salt. Label the other one for uh, calcium nitrate. So it'll say C and N on there even though you can't see it. But you know it's there. All right, on to the math and mixing it up. So I got a vitamin bottle and it's, uh, as you can see, it's 16.9 fluid ounces. I did the math on it, but now looking at it, you can see to the right it says 500 milliliters. But anyways, it was already done for me. But you can see at the top, I wrote here 17 ounces. I looked on Google, it's 502 milliliters. And as you can see, the master blend recipe calls for 12 grams of master blend for every five gallons of water. So I got a bag here, we'll grab it. You can take a look, here's a master blend bag. So 12 grams of that for every gallon or every five gallons of water. The calcium nitrate, the exact same thing. 12 grams for every, uh, five gallons of water so easy peasy and then we got the Epsom salt which that calls for six grams for every five gallons of water and what I'm going to be mixing up is a 20 25 gallons of concentrate that will be in that uh, 17 ounce bottle and we'll do the math here all right, as I explained above, you need uh, 12 grams of the master blend for every five gallons of water. You need 12 grams of the calcium nitrate for every five, five gallons of water. So, so five gallons divided by 25 equals five. So then we equal five times 12. That equals 60 grams of the uh, calcium nitrate and uh, 60 grams of the master blend. And then the Epsom salt, we need a uh, six grams for every five gallons so we'll just times that by five so six times five it would that would equal 30 grams and this scale only measures up to a little over uh, 50 grams so i'll measure my 50 grams first so i'll just go ahead and pour the uh 50 grams of master blend in there and shake it and mix it up and then pour the additional 10 grams and then I'll measure my uh, additional 10 grams to come up with my total of 60 grams of uh, master blend. And we'll just pour the additional 10 grams of uh, master blend in the bottle and shake it and mix it up. And now we're going to uh, add 30 grams of Epsom salt to the same bottle. So we'll just go ahead and weigh out the 30 grams of Epsom salt. Now it's time to add the 30 grams of Epsom salt to our uh, 
previous bottle of Master Blend that we just mixed up. And now we can give it a good shake to mix it up. And now that the uh, Master Blend and the Epsom salt are all mixed up, we can set it aside and move on to mixing the uh, calcium nitrate. So we'll go ahead and just measure out the 60 grams of calcium nitrate. Now that we got it weighed out, it's time to add it to our calcium nitrate bottle. And once we're done adding the 60 grams of calcium nitrate, we can give it a good shake to mix it up. Then you can take a look at the bottom and if it looks all dissolved, then you're done. As you can see, there's no debris floating on the bottom anywhere. Now we can take a look at the uh, Epsom salt and master blend. As you can see, there's no debris floating on the bottom of that one either. So it looks good. And we'll just finish it off by adding the uh, RO water and topping off the bottles. All right, it's time to test this concentrate out and see if it worked. So I'm just filling a one gallon milk jug up halfway with uh, just regular tap water. So I'm going to start out first by uh, adding the Epsom salt and the uh, Master Blend Concentrate. Alright, so I got my syringe here and I'll just uh, measure out 20 ml to concentrate. Then I'll go ahead and just add it to the uh, half gallon of water in that milk jug. And I'll just uh, repeat what I just did and measure out 20 ml of the calcium nitrate and add that to the uh, one gallon jug. So we're almost finished here. We're just going to top off the milk jug. And then we can uh, put on the cap and give it a quick shake to mix it up. And now it's time to test the EC and see if it worked. And it looks like it worked perfectly as the EC is reading 2.4. That's the exact same reading I get when I mix uh, the powder concentrate in a one gallon uh, container. The beauty of this is it'll make uh, 25 gallons of a uh, master blend hydroponic solution. And it's ready to go. So I'll probably wrap these in foil as you don't want them exposed to light. And just be sure to store them in a nice, uh, cool, dark spot. And you should be good to go. And that's it till the next episode. Alright, I'm just going to add the uh, recipe here for uh, reference for both the uh, 25 gallons and also if you want to make a 